Okay, I'm just going to throw this in because everybody's saying I'm, I haven't shown a big shot when, of Greg's Sphinx out here in the heartland of the USA. Now, this is the Sphinx, and the face is kind of funny looking, no doubt. The headdress, I see in Woodward's latest, Woodward TV's latest um, video, it just came out, I think yesterday, or maybe even today, it's of... Um, UFOs disclosure and if you look in he shows the ancient gods and they have these kind of faces strange looking faces I, I can't I don't know just the way it is now I think if we get the microscopes out and that's what Greg is going to be doing going back out with a microscope looking at the tissues that are on the surface I think we can make an absolute positive identification based on the fact of the fascia and the tissue uh, matrices and so forth but I've already heard from I think it was a doctor he sent you know as I showed the if you look at the the structure of the backbone and the ribs and everything, he knew exactly what it was. He had all kind of L this and L15 that or what, something like that. But um, but anyway, I just want to show this because I did not show a full picture. Greg only got out there in uh, in the darkness, and we just had a little bit of this and that to look at. And he's gone out since, and we're still sort of muddling around on this thing we need to get out there with microscopes before we can make any determination anyway i want to throw that out so at least you can see it you know there's finger there's toenails and claws or whatever they are on here the coat is hanging exactly the way the coat would hang the blood is issuing from the places i would see the blood issuing the different colors and they're where they're running out in a different um lichen and moss attacking in the places that are just exactly where i expect and there is a lot of these and a lot of them are absolutely 100 percent proven this we can't make any claim yet but i'm as far as i'm concerned i see something that appeared to be alive at one time that's my take at this point